Hey there, I'm Milena, and you might have seen me around Collaboratory, helping students out or helping myself to a cup of coffee. And if you're anything like me, you might find that you have some free time. Free time that I would have spent sitting in traffic or browsing the aisles at Target for things that I don't need. Well, my friend Connor has some really good advice on how you could be spending that extra free time, especially if you are a student or emerging talent. Connor is the founder and CEO of Fielder, a platform he created to connect students with businesses for job opportunities, volunteer opportunities, and internships. Take it away, Connor. So first and foremost, if you're a student, if you're part of the emerging talent uh, generation, now is a great time to start uh, working on that resume. Take whatever draft you have of that resume, start really recrafting it, redesigning it, reformatting it to be the most modern and appealing uh, resume you could have. Um, start, uh, make sure you're filling out all of your different profiles, your fielder profile, your LinkedIn profile, all professional networks you may be a part of. Make sure that the content, that the information on there uh, is not only just updated, but at, at its maximum potential to uh, market you as the, the potential best candidate for that position. And of course, stay active in searching for employers that still might be hiring. I know Amazon, as of yesterday, April uh, 14th, Amazon released 75 thousand new positions. Now this may not be the most ideal career path for you all as new talent, however it is certainly a temporary job that you do need to take part in. You do need of course to uh, make money, of course need to get uh, through this situation, so take those temporary jobs. I know CVS was hiring tens of thousands of positions as well, Walmart, Amazon, Instacart, hundreds of thousands of positions uh, being hired between all of them, so I highly encourage you all to look into those if you do need that temporary work to get you onto the other side of this. Uh, I also do highly, highly recommend you all uh, uh, get on Fielder. We are consistently uh, having employers do put post remote jobs and different opportunities, uh, especially service learning, volunteer opportunities. Now is also a great time to get involved with the nonprofit. That is a huge resume builder. Just having that community engagement will really take you to the next level, uh, not only just in your skill sets, but also in your community awareness and as well as building your network of professionals. Uh, and a final uh, tip that I'd like to give you all is to stay proactive. Not reactive, stay proactive. Once again, start consistently filling off those profiles, reaching out to different employers that might be hiring, looking at different companies that might be hiring remote work. And on the note of remote work, um, we all know that there's gonna be a big change to the way uh, business is done. Uh, and it already has been taking place. The change has already been taking place. And that huge change is going to be a lot more remote work. Now, employers are going to be looking for a lot of uh, this, um, the, the generation of emerging talent to have those needed skill sets to work remotely. Uh, it allows businesses to cut overhead costs. And so, uh, once again, being able to rem work remotely very effectively and productively for that company is going to offer you uh, the upper hand on, on potentially the next candidate. So those are just a few tips. Once again, resume building. Um, uh, extensive um, research on who might be hiring and taking those temporary positions, uh, filling out all of your professional social media profiles, of course, as well as preparing to work remotely, knowing that that is the, uh, the, the society of, of work we're heading into. So I hope this was helpful for all of our emerging talent, all of our students. You can check out Fielder at fielder.app or at join Fielder on all of our social medias. Uh, we're always doing uh, uh, collaborations with the community foundation, so uh, be on the lookout for that as well. I hope everyone stays healthy, stays safe, and we will see you on the other side of this. Bye now.